I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson and we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today it's Paris FC facing Saint-Étienne well thanks Derek as always the scene is set two good teams a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere it has all the ingredients for a really exciting game And the match is underway. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Well, this is the team that Saint Etienne will go with. Well, we believe they're going to play with the same system here but it's all about the midfield battle. Whoever wins that should control the tactics. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, plenty of scope for them to attack. And options in the centre. Oh, great block. Going short. Still alive. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Caputo. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Has a go, and not cleared away properly. Well, nothing comes of it. Julie Dufour. Grebeauval. Clara Matteo. Mathilde Bourdieu. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Julie Dufour. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Options in the centre. Well, far too much elevation there. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Well, she's playing with a purpose. And now waiting to pounce. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect Matteo Bourdieu Selina Uldosin Clara Matteo and beating her opponent well she certainly caused all of that one but the accuracy leaving a bit to be desired And support available. Just the challenge that was required. Stopped a certain goal. Tine. Perfect tackle. Well, she was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end, it will be a free kick. And time for the change now. Well, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. And back to Jin Yu. Back now to the goalkeeper. And possibilities here. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. So, in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Well, she really hit it with the laces, but miles off target. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. It's looking promising. And still a chance. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Well, good-looking play with the ball at defeat. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over, and nothing to choose between the sides.
So away they go again. The first period of extra time. And it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Plenty of support here. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Can she put it away? Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Electing to shoot. Oh, she nearly found the target. Oh, they've lost it. Now, does she mean business? And she's in the mood today. She's gone and made us a double. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. This attack looks highly promising, but nothing comes of it. And the counter-attack is on, options available. An alert intervention. Luna Ribadeira. And still pressing for a goal here. Played into the box. It comes to nothing in the end. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.
Thank you.